All right, guys, we've got the carb off. And as you can see underneath here, these are the, what well, should be screws, but it is riveted on. So what I decided to do is, yeah, I can try to cut those rivets out. Um, and I may still do that. Uh, the carb for these things is like 30 bucks. So what we're gonna do though, is supposedly the carb was new on the other one. So I went and stole it and it has screws on the bottom of it. So we can uh, look at just getting another carb. You know, at the end of the day, it's 30 bucks. Yeah, I can cut it off and I might, like I said, but um, I'm not too worried about it right now. So let's go ahead and put this thing back on this. Um, this is the overflow, and it's missing the tab. So, let's see if we can shove this back in the hole there. I know my big head's in the way. There's ain't a lot of whole room, a whole lot of room down in this thing. Okay, so that is on. And we're gonna run this back around. Get this down here. Get that boot on. Okay, so that's in. We got some. <clears throat> that's in. Let me get. Uh, I'm gonna my Phillips. <clears throat> okay, so let's tighten this down. Well, let's hope this solves the problem. Okay, so we got that there. Uh, oh, that, that screw went to the top of the other one. Let's go ahead and put the uh, air filter back on. No, actually, we'll leave it off. We'll see what it runs like. Uh, where did I hide the uh, throttle cable at? Okay, so that's on. That's on. And let me, excuse me, tighten down that air filter. Okay, so we got that. We got that. We've got the uh, throttle cable. We'll put that back through. We're going to spin. Okay, so we got that. We got that. Put this well in the end. Jam that. Uh, back in. What do I do with that? Twelve mil. I cannot find my gear wrench. Twelve millimeter. I don't know what I have done with it. Supervising the investigations that you're talking about. Former President Trump faces two federal trials. One for allegedly hoarding classified documents and covering it up. The other for allegedly conspiring to seize power after well. the 2020 election. 
Attorney General Garland has said little about this. There's not much in here, here to guys. understand. Okay, well, I got that. That's tight. I think the first thing to understand. That little boot back over the spring. Okay, that's working, that's working. Uh, we need to hook this cable back up to that choke connector, which is under here somewhere. And the mess of wires. Investigations proceed many different directions. Okay, that's back on, that's back on. Everything's back on. It's probably going to take a bit to get some fuel. So, let's see. Make sure I got everything hooked up. That fuel line goes to the bottom of the uh, fuel pump. That other cable <coughs> hose comes around to the top here and goes into the intake tube. All right, let's see what she does, guys. takes to fill this fuel float bowl up with this fuel pump and we're assuming that the fuel pump is working I would have thought by now it would have fuel. So let's take this fuel line off and see if it's spitting out any fuel. Have you ever had to tell him hands off these investments? Okay, it's definitely spitting fuel. So we know that's not the issue. Okay, so got that, got that. Why are we not firing? We know it started on starting fluid. So that choke, unless the choke's not working, but there's no adjustment on the choke. It's electric. Okay, let's take the air filter housing back off and promptly drop our Phillips. I'm going to come over here and get my big head in your way again. Um, we'll do that flathead. Got the air cleaner off. And he said we won't get some starting fluid. Under Justice Department regulations, a special counsel must write a final report. 
I wish I will make public to the extent um, permissible under the law. Um, that is required to explain that prosecutor decisions. See if it'll go. Prosecute or not prosecute. <laughs> Okay. Same thing as the other carb. I did not drain the fuel out of this thing. this thing. fuel delivery problem and I'm wondering if we may have an issue with this fuel pump maybe it's not working properly to do is scavenge the fuel pump off of the other one I haven't looked up the price for that but I don't think it's that expensive um, that's the only thing I'm thinking is it's not flowing enough fuel um, and I'm kind of wondering now if there is any uh, issue with the other carburetor um, I guess what we could do is bring the red one in here hook up this carb to it and see if it'll fire up and stay running so uh, may do that tomorrow I've got my chicken pot pie in the oven but we know it runs so that's good that's you know I'm pretty happy with that I'm glad that that spark plug hole isn't stripped out so I don't know I may do that tomorrow pull the red one in here we'll put this carb on it I got to make sure I got enough fuel lines to hook all the fuel stuff back up because uh, that one's missing the fuel lines and um, yeah so I'll be back in a flash. Okay, I'm kind of curious. I went and made my lunch for tomorrow. I made some awesome tuna salad. And letting it sit, I want to see if the float bowl fills back up. So I'm going to keep back on.
See, I'm kind of wondering, because it started, when I shut the camera off, it started back up. Now, let me see if I can get this uh, air filter back on. So I'm kind of curious. I checked. Uh, Okay, so, I was, like I said, I was kind of curious because I went over there to check how much that little fuel pump is. It's like 550. You know, and I come back over here and started it, and it started right up. So, we've had a minute. Let's see what it does. give it, what time is it? It is 7.38. Let's give it a minute. Give it a second. Let's see if it fills back up. It seemed to run longer that time. You know, and I need to check these uh, hoses here, make sure and I ain't got no intake leak. Definitely seems like the float bowl running out of fuel. All right, I think we kind of confirmed that, guys. Now we can take the other one off, or you know what? I got to order. Their batteries are actually uh, about the same price as Amazon at VMC Chinese Parts. I'll put a link to that in the description, so if you guys have one of these things, but I can order the two, you know, four amp hour batteries. The one I was looking at was a three amp hour. Order those, uh, get some spark plugs, get a new carb, um, get two of those um, fuel pumps, because they're the same age, they're both 2013s. So, you know, if I'm gonna do one, I'll go ahead and do the other. You know, we know that this carb is good. I guess I could take this carb back off uh, and put it on the, put the other one back in, but you know what, for 30 bucks, and like I said, <clears throat> with this one here, I'm gonna have to drill those studs out of there and then you know uh, tap it and find some screws for it which I'm sure I've got something here from other cards I could use Chinese cards. but you know what for for 29 30 bucks you know I'm, I am trying to do this cheap you know minimize my cost in it so but still I mean this one has got what I say almost 3,000 miles on it so you know we'll just replace it um, and call it a day so I will be back in a flash all right guys it's been a few days uh, not just a whole blink of an eye now nah, you know that whole work and work and work thing kind of puts a damper on uh, doing anything so and if I'm not working at work then I'm at home roasting and uh, but we'll get to that here in a minute. Okay, what I have done is I got my fuel tank here. Um, I sucked all the fuel out of the gas tank, and I've got it hanging down in there. And uh, let's start this thing. I will tell you, it does start. Um, but I noticed, and I don't know if the choke is working on this thing. It's electronic, so... And the car does look new. It looks brand spanking new. But... Uh, 
it would run, run for a bit, and then die, and I could start back up, so, I don't know, typical Chinese engine, but uh, let's see if it fires up, turn the key on, okay, so it runs, and it appears to run fairly well. Break just in case it decides to go uh, crazy on me. And I'll see if I can get it to do what it was doing. It would idle down and then die. Just like that. I do have some spark plugs coming. They should be here tomorrow or the next day, but if you start it back up or just give it a couple pumps of gas it start back up so it kind of acts like it's running out of fuel in the fuel bowl again but I do not have that vacuum uh, vacuum fuel pump uh, connected it's still connected on the vacuum side but I don't know if you can see down here yeah I've got to just uh, this is the fuel line so you know, and before when I was messing with it, I could I could feel it puffing. So, but anyway, it is running. So that's good. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here because I feel bad because I cheated. Actually, I didn't cheat. I just kind of oh, let's say I got busy and I was roasting and decided to take this thing apart and forgot to turn on my camera. So here we have get my camera my lens turned around. This is the original carb. Uh, and what I didn't show was, and I, I did show it in the other video, where these things were um, down here, here. Actually, here, let me get over here. So we got one right there, we got one right there, and then we had one right here. And they were the kind of where you couldn't take them out, okay? So what I did, let me step over here. I know you can't see my big fat head, but I'm getting my Dremel and I'm gonna show you what I use. I got some of these diamond cutter bits. Um, these right here. Okay, and what I ended up doing was I tried a couple of different things. I tried on this side here, I tried a small drill bit with a punch. Punched a hole in it, drilled, 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 you know, then went up to a bigger one. My problem was is those things were sitting so flush to the edge here, I thought, and it and it kind of did. You can you can kind of see on this one right here. Let me get you in the right frame. You can kind of see where it kind of nicked it up. So what I ended up doing is using that to make a slot in it. And then once you got a little bit farther down, you and I, you know, I kind of made it a little bit big enough to fit a screwdriver, obviously. You could kind of see where the um, ends, let me get them because I know I didn't throw those away. <clears throat> All right, so here is one of the screws. You can see where I cut that slot into it, and they are screws, okay? So what I found worked was cutting the slot in it and then drilling with a small drill bit down into it, and it would kind of loosen it up, and then you could use a screwdriver to spin it out. So I haven't done anything else with it. Uh, what I did is I found a donor carb with a couple of screws, and I did just check to make sure that they would fit the float bowl. Uh, but yeah, so what we have on here is your, um, this is your idle right there where my thumb is tapping. And then it, there is a plunger, let's see if I can get this thing to spin, it's not spinning, it's stuck. Okay, well, we'll deal with that here uh, momentarily. 
this is some sort of vent. I really have no clue what it goes to, but it is seriously plugged up. So, uh, actually, I went to AutoZone today, and I meant to pick up some uh, Berryman's cleaner. And totally spaced it, but we will... You can see that right there where my middle finger is. That's kind of plugged up. Uh, looks to be just some sort of vent. The other carb has one too, and I did stick my finger over it while that thing was running. It didn't seem to have any noticeable effect. But now, for the fun stuff, let's look inside this float bowl. Oh, is that bad? Okay, but wait, there's more. Okay, here is the inside. You know, the floats seem to be working just fine. But yeah, this thing is really dirty. So, and gee, I wonder, you know, because you got your pilot, your pilot and your main jet, right there i just wonder how clogged up them suckers are there's another uh, right here where my finger is there's another orifice so um let's see if i got a flathead number one um i do and let's see if we can get the pilot out You know, like I said, these things, I think I said in a previous video, or the previous previous section of this, these carbs aren't expensive. I mean, they're only like 29 bucks. But I thought, you know, what the heck, I got it here, and I do apologize for not turning my camera on, but I was roasting, and in between batches, I was messing around with this. So let's see if we can go through these holes here and see if they're plugged. That one is not. And boy, them holes are tiny. That one is not. That one might have had some gunk in it. Oh, I need to put my reading glasses on. Okay. I don't know if you're supposed to be able to get down through this thing, but it is not going through it. And I don't, I think it is supposed to go through it. So let's see if step up a hole. Let's see if I got a little bit bigger one to get through there. Well, you definitely can't see through that thing, but you might not be able to. Let me get my flashlight. Oh boy, did it cool down here in Indiana. I might as well feel like I'm in Alaska. Okay, I can't tell. But I may have to uh, find something for the ultrasonic and stick that in and see if it vibrates anything free. But it is not feeling like there is a hole all the way through. And there might not be. I'm, I'm not exactly sure on this carb. So I'm just trying different sizes here. I don't feel anything. So, but there is a hole. I don't know if it'll show up in there. There's a hole down in the center of it. But, yeah, it's definitely not going through. Um, but, we would have to take the other car apart, take it off the scooter. And see if this does indeed have a hole going down through it. It may, it may not. All right, so let's take out the main jet. And there again, there's a hole in it. Let's see if anything goes down through it. 
Yeah, that's clear. We'll throw that down in the pile. Let's throw it. That is definitely plugged up down inside there. Um, let's get this carb cleaner here. Do this off to the side. Just shooting it everywhere. Fine by me. The more the merrier. Let's see if I can get down. Let's see if I, oh, okay. So that goes down to the. That goes up to the uh, needle. Let's see if I can pull that back. Okay, I can I know you can't see it. Nah, my fat fingers in the way. But uh trust me on that, it is going up through the needle. Um so that's clean. Uh there is another orifice here. So I sprayed that out. There is another tiny, I mean tiny orifice. And that is going in all the way. So, <clears throat> I think that is part of the choke mechanism. Oh, well, that's what that tiny little screw goes to. Oh, I was wondering. I had that screw land down there, and it's like, what does that thing go to? Uh, it goes to this choke. So, let's put that in before I forget it. Okay, so that is back in. Um, boy, I really want to soak this thing, so I may end up doing that. Um, I don't know why this throttle is not turning. It should. Okay. Then we got that doohickey right there. Um, let's see. Uh, that is some sort of vent. Let's put those out right there. I'll get, get a fat one. Let's see if we can unplug that hole. Shoot that car, mate. mud diver nest or something. Okay, that's cleaned out. Okay, um, let me grab a little brass brush. Okay, and let's kind of clean this thing up a little bit.
So I guess to answer the question, will it run? Yes, it will run. It will run on the other carburetor. So we're going to see if we can get this one to run. Shooting carb cleaner through it. Okay, uh, that looks fine. I still don't know why this damn throttle is not turning. Uh, that could be a problem because it should be turning. There we go. Maybe it just had some gunk lodged in it. Shoot some stuff down in there. I got tons of brake clean, so. Okay, so that's clean, that's clean. Granted, the whole carb needs to be cleaned, um, but we'll deal with that later. Like I said, I, wanted to, I do want to put it into the uh, ultrasonic, but I'm gonna clean off where this gasket is. I'll use them. I know, I'm off to the side here. I'm doing that on purpose, I don't wanna shoot the uh, camera full of uh, carb cleaner. I'm just cleaning down this bowl. <clears throat> you know what, and if it don't work, whoop de do you know, like I said, we'll, we'll buy a uh, new carb. But I figure it's worth a shot, right? Okay, that's looking fairly clean down in there. I just, uh, whoa. Oh, it's this little rubber thing. That feels like some sort of, I don't know what this thing is. This little thing right there. But I'll clean this thing up a little bit better. keeps falling right off. Yeah, I know. I should probably be wearing rubber gloves doing that. What stuff is ice cold though, man? Woo! Ice cold! Okay, so back to this. Uh... Trying to see if I can still get something down into that hole. It kind of looked like um, fluid ran out of it. Maybe it was just had a big hunk of dirt in it. Well, maybe it's just my imagination. I do have a good imagination. Okay, so that is. I don't. Without taking the other carb off, I don't know if this is supposed to have a hole straight through it. The holes on the sides are clear. So I think we're just going to have to run with that because if there is something lodged in there, it's in there pretty freaking tight. So we'll go ahead and put this one back down. And when you put that back in, it does not have to be tightened to superhuman strength. Okay, so I can blow through that. So that's clear. Okay, so that's in, that's in, <clears throat> the flow.
float is working just fine, but I'm going to shoot it while I'm at here. Just in case. All right, guys. Well, uh, that appears to be fine. I think I'm going to go ahead and put this bottom back on. So we can... I've got uh, two big screws, two small screws. So let's see here. I'll put the long one over here. I'm do my belt. Really need to clean off my work bitches here too. These cats like to get up here and leave their hair. I just don't want to put these long screws where something could hit it. So I'm going to put that smaller, smaller screw over there. Then we're going to pop the top off and see what's underneath that. Okay. So, if this works, guys, then we just saved ourselves $29. Who doesn't like saving $29? Oh my god, that's so big. Super tight. May not be coming off after all. Um, spray some car cleaner around this stuff, clean that body off. Pretty clean. Looks brand spanking new. Look at that. Um. Okay, so we have the slide in here, the uh, needle. So that is sitting up under this thing, and it goes. It must be must have some sort of a. Uh, which I'm gonna call it up in there. Um, what am I thinking here? A diaphragm. It's looking good, though. All right. So, what? What do we have here? I know the fuel is at the bottom. Let me. I'm sorry, I'm over here looking. Uh, okay, so we got the fuel. The fuel's at the top. Uh, let me get you back over here. This is your fuel inlet. Uh, this is your drain. So, should be uh, good to go. <clears throat> so, and then... When you hit this, when you hit the throttle, I don't know if you can see right where my thumb is. That is moving. That rubber piece is shot. All right. <clears throat> so, it may or may not work. Not exactly sure, but we will find out. So, what I'm going to have to do is reposition you guys down here. Um, I'll probably just go ahead and turn the camera off while I'm taking this old carb off. You see me put the other one on, so it's nothing new and exciting. So, uh, give me a few minutes, and we I will take this one off, uh, and we'll put this one on and see what kind of results we get. So, hold on a minute. All right, new carb is in. Uh, cracked open a beer, let the uh, float bowl fill up. I have not tried to start this thing. So let's see what she does. Give it a little bit of throttle.
a little more idle. That or it's just running out of gas. This is what the other one was doing. Kind of weird. Put it in. But exactly what it was doing and it and it took a bit for it to stabilize and stay running so maybe it's you yes I do have the choke wired in It's like it's running out of gas. Okay. 
idling. I still gotta go through so much more on this, but. Take a look at this carb and see if there is any air fuel screw. I don't think there is. So we're no. Cause... Oh yes, there is. There's one right on the side, and it's right below that vent. So let me take a look and see if this one has that. No, this one is closed off. Uh, see this thing right here? Got the light on. Right below that is an air fuel screw. This one does not have that. So, but I can't, you know, I really just can't definitively say, oh yeah, the carb's fine. Because it's, it's wanting to die. So, but it could still have some dirt in it. The ultrasonics are really good for cleaning that out. And I didn't even notice the uh, air fuel screw on this one. So I, yeah, I could try putting it in the ultrasonic. 
I think I'll be down uh, by an AutoZone or Advance tomorrow. Uh, I just need to get a couple gallons of it, and that stuff is not cheap. But, uh, you know, the thing of it is, I'm going to have to take off this top part, you know, which might be a real pain. You know, is it worth all the aggravation or just spend 29 bucks for another carb? So, we know this one works. I have no idea what the air fuel screw is because I did not check it. Let's see here. So, we got half, one, one and a half, basically one and a half. Half, one, one and a half. A tad more. Um, <clears throat> but you know, if I'm going to sell it, I mean, I, I want it to run right, so I may just go ahead and plunk down the 29 bucks and just get a new carb. That way, it is adjustable. Um, you can take the bottom off if you ever need to, you know, clean it out or anything, which you can on this one now. But I don't know. We'll see, guys. You know, uh, I'm debating. Like I said, I do I do want to make sure this thing's running right, so maybe tomorrow uh, I'll just fire it up and I gotta get the seat and the stuff back on it so I can at least drive it up and down the road and, and kind of see if it's gonna hold its idle eventually uh, and not die. And if it does, then you know I'll come back and say, hey, you know, oh, that fixed the problem, it just needed to warm up. Um, like I said, it's got an electronic choke. Um, I'm, I'm going to order the mechanical fuel valves for this thing. Like I said, they're like six bucks. I'll just go ahead and order two of them, one for the other one as well. And yeah, I mean, worst case, about 30 bucks. But uh, we'll try cleaning it first and see if that does anything. I just got to get that top off there because. If there's a diaphragm in there, I don't I don't want that thing sitting down in the ultrasonic with carb cleaner in there and eat that diaphragm uh, where the slide and the needle is. So, yeah, I may have to kind of pop that thing in the vise again and take my impact to loosen those top two screws so I can take that thing apart fully. Uh, the choke, uh, which was, let me zoom you in, see that. You know, electrical connector there it's kind of got the green wire that's the choke uh, one of those screws did not want to come out either but that's got to come out before I put it in the ultrasonic one step at a time man we'll 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 figure out what it is but uh I'm gonna wrap this up on the will it run video for the blue one because uh, we know it runs now next up will be this uh, safety feature um, and I'm being sarcastic, this uh, safety feature on these handlebars here. See how that moves? Uh, that is not supposed to do that. So I got to take this off anyway because on the red one, I don't know if the master cylinder is messed up or just out of fluid, but there is no front brake. Um, so I got to take this stuff off anyway and figure out how all this stuff comes off, what's under here, so we can take a peek and take it from there, man. Um, see what's what so anyway thanks for hanging out in the garage you know and uh sorry for the cut up this but yeah work uh kind of gets in the way of a lot of stuff so but you know what i gotta pay bills and i gotta have money to buy things like this so thanks for watching and uh stay tuned for the next one uh the next one may be i don't know if i wanted to do the to continue on the blue one i may just continue on this blue one and or bring the uh red one in since we've got the other carb off, we can put it on it. I gotta get some more fuel line and we can uh, test that one. So stay tuned and uh, see you soon.